And Caitlin, obviously a very significant headline uh, that you are breaking. What more can you tell us? Yeah, this is incredibly significant. And of course, we should note that when the former president confirmed that, yes, this raid did happen on his Mar-a-Lago resort in Palm Beach, he did not specify why exactly this raid happened. So we are still trying to confirm that. Of course, I know you mentioned the missing documents from the National Archives and the concerns about that. So that remains to be seen. I will note that in this statement where the former president confirmed to me that, yes, FBI agents did conduct a raid at Mar-a-Lago today, he said it was a large number of FBI, a large group of FBI agents. He says that he believes this is a political, um, mo politically motivated event that happened, this search of Mar-a-Lago. Of course, we're waiting to hear from authorities why they conducted this search, how they got this search warrant, and of course, what the reason is behind it. I will note, he does give one detail in here that is notable. He says, quote, Aaron, uh, I'm gonna read this now. Such an assault mm -hmm. could only take place in broken third world countries. Sadly, America has now become one of those countries. He says, quote, they even broke into my safe. Now, Aaron, he does not say what they were looking for, what they wanted to get, if they took anything from that safe, but it is notable that he says they did even break into his safe. Mm -hmm. In this statement, I should note, when he does not say what the reason is for this raid, he does reference Hillary Clinton's emails. Of course, that has long been uh, an obsession of the former president's. He said nothing happened mm -hmm. to her to hold her accountable, talking about what she took from the White House. So that could be an indication that this is related to the National Archives. But again, we are still waiting to find out more, though. Trump has confirmed to me that, yes, this raid was conducted on Mar-a-Lago today.